As we were playing, the dice is cast. It's a new, like, action RPG roguelike style game. It just came out. I thought I'd give it a shot because it looked really interesting. And I like these weird, interesting games. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Somebody said that quoting him because there was question marks on top of there. Uh, what, what kind of animals is that? We fall on our back? Oh, I guess so. Look around. Oh, I can't remember. Check belongings. Uh, those are like the notes for actions and his sentence are the same thing. All right. I found a note. Note inside the pocket. Response plan for amnesia. So you planned for this? That's a nearby weapon. Done. You cannot move as you wish because there is an invisible wall nearby. Interesting. You can move when you hit a nearby dice. You can move based on the dice number. Be careful because monsters will appear when you stop moving. If there is a monster, run for your life! Oh. <laughs> Profit. There's some things that are not my memory. Ooh. Okay, move with a stick. Circle swings the sword. Uh, we got a, what, four combo? And we rolled a one. Perfect. Oh, battle start. Um, is there a for, okay. There are 60 events at the top right. That rotating bell event thing? It's like, what is this, like, uh... Crisis score? This event is determined by the dice in the center. There are events that are advantages or disadvantages of the player. There's one may throw a normal field and you can personally throw the dice. Oh, I was like, you actually hook the dice at him? Using auto targeting, re release the left stick when you get close to a monster. Select the one closest to you, get it. Uh, I kind of want to hit this first. Oh. Is there a dodge button? Not that I can find. Suck it, rat man. Oh, more rats. Can they just stun him like this? Enemies with a high defense appear. Let's attach the action deliver. Oh. Uh, various actions available for each action has at least one mounting position. I think that means button. Oh, okay, so F1, S1, what? Okay, forward slash. Uh, move forward to target and the slash deliver to 30 a day. Okay, attach. So that's, oh, that's attachment to the uh, uh, F1, the fourth slot of our attack? I think I just do that, and that, and then that, and then that, and just like sunlock them. I'm a combat master. <laughs> Broke the game, was it five minutes in? It's a new record. Four. I think I wanted the EXP one. Oh. Okay, so you basically got hit it right at the the same time. Well, not the same time. The time we're supposed to do it. That just bypasses his defenses, apparently. All right. Wah. Yeah. One. So. Oh, rat man boss. A rat boss. Oh, defense is dead. Oh, now you tell me. 
uh, when the defense action fitted, press X to use defense action. If you use defense while the character is on the move, dash will activate. Dash is also the R2 button. Certain monsters, including the boss, are defensive and wear smaller denim denim ages. No, don't know what that means. Uh, you can use actions that break enemy defenses by pressing the square button. This is an action that consumes combo points. Combo points will be obtained if the combo is completed at least ten times. With the defense, oh, back to the front. Okay. I tried to dodge, couldn't. Come on, come on. Almost got him. That wasn't so bad. Music's good. Oh, uh, hey, person. Oh, well, I saw that. Be wary, I don't have a choice. Oh, she's smiling, that's good. Again? Okay. <laughs> Interesting dialogue. <laughs> okay, we're getting out of here. Uh, is that the exit? <laughs> Memory of a sa safety first ide I ideologist. Do not follow strangers. Be wary. Be wary. Be wary. <laughs> that was multiple times and I can actually do different things. Because it's like, be wary, like I have a choice. It's like... like it, it, it looks like it's part of a dialogue choice wheel that never materialized on the screen, you know? I said funky music. Oh. Enhancing equipment. Wait, can, I, can I select between them? This is a safe zone. I suppose you be enhancing equipment. Alright, confirm. You can enhance the performance of items by strengthening the equipment using various methods of the dungeon. Strengthening materials include constant drainage item, each of the which increases the strength level and multiplies the strength level several times. The more materials you put in, the more cores you consume. The equipment is divided into six classes. Uh, N, S, N, R, S, R, U, R, and A, R. So... Normal, super normal, rare, super rare, ultra rare, and absurdly rare? i guessing? You can strengthen it by grade from 5 to 50. You can enhance the performance of items by strengthening the equipment and various materials obtained from the dungeon. Strength materials back to the front. Alright, so... Uh, then somebody who has it? Oh, she has, she has the super normal Clark sword. Okay, well, next I'll explain uh, action enhancements, okay? Actions full experience are marked in the last strength items will consume the cores. Actions divided into the literal same thing that was before. Action is full of experiences, okay. So this is how we upgrade our actions. Oh, tell us how many cores... 
Is that how many cores we have versus how many we need? Interesting, okay. Let's play in the stage menu. Oh, we can select our character, okay. Um, well, we used him, let's use her. You can enter this stage on easy, normal, or hard. Uh, let's do normal. So what does she have? I... Oh, sweet. Okay, so she has an R1. Ooh, six. No rewards, no rewards. 52 experience, no rewards. And battle. Well, man, she seems to be way better than the other guy. Yeah, so far she seems to be exponentially better than the other guy. Oh, double sixes, okay. One more and I go to jail. Or is that the wrong game? Hit the die. Any other heads? Monster damage. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at that. She is way better. <laughs> She's faster. She's stronger. Come on! Get him, get him, get him! I don't even know what I was doing there, but that was amazing! Two, three, three cores. That's good, and time for the boss. Oh no, it's a Ratman mutant. Is there a die? Yes. Wow, that was way easier as her. We got low slice, whatever that does. Our new music was picking up the memory of a rat man. Give memory to me and go and attack the humans. Oh, he said something this time. Hooray! Music's good. And we're back! What is your- wait, roulette? Get action. Oh. Uh, forward slash. Move forward to target front and deliver an attack. Okay. So- Oh, wow, he actually has all these actions socketed? So he can do all these now? He couldn't even- he didn't even have half this stuff socketed before. Okay, so we have forward slash. Okay, so we do have a super rare forward slash, so. So we get better versions of the same moves we have? That's weird. I think. Training tower. Right, let's go to stage. We'll take him just to give him a shot. Stage two. Let's do. It's very hard because easy. Normal was pretty easy. Okay, so you have all your moves now, right? I guess so. Okay, so.
Nice. Okay, I can see it gets, you know, it gets a little crazy when there's lots of people here, but so far it's so easy. Speed EXP. It says we get experience points, it didn't seem like we'd leveled up anything. More cores. Ooh, a better Clark Sword. Uh, low class ingot. 252 cores. And oh. Mine. Got lowest class equipment enhancement you get. Hey, we're getting stuff at least. Oh, we're going right to the end, baby. Cores up. Cores. More cores. Experience. Come on, gear. Ooh, gloves. Female. Oh, a warrior mutant. The worst kind of mutant. Um. Bye. That's, oh, that's, come on, get him, get him. I, I really gotta focus on, like, the little dudes. I mean, I, I can square up against the big guy. Whoa, uh, almost no problem. Got you. He got me. Got him. Wow, damn, hit him a lot of crap for that one. Whew, that was a hard too. The memory of Meminus 2. To become stronger, let's collect materials and combine good equipment. To get high class actions, let's use the roulette! Hey, world's being destroyed? That's new. Is this us? The world's dying? The huge disaster caused the earth to crumble. As a result, savage monsters started appearing. This is why people created memory hunters to find what happened. I mean, it has to be monsters and turn savage and collect the information inside the memories. Because they are also victims, the memories all mixed up, so. Oh, so yeah, we basically gotta kill them all, collect their memories, and then find out what happened. Hmm, wow, we got a lot of stuff. The lowest class sword fragment. It's a super normal. How about the manufacturer equipment? Oh, equipment combination. Equipment can be manufactured materials acquired from dungeon. Thanks. <laughs> There's a one-page explanation of the whole process. <laughs> Just like you can make stuff. The end. Exit to your right. Oh, but that being said, this some of these look freaking awesome. <laughs> Heidegger sword, Wilhelm sword, Maslow sword, the classic Beowulf hunting, the Gram, the Balmung. The dragon teeth. Pet zombie booty. Too easy. Um, so we need the lowest class fragments to make a Clark Sword, which we already have. It's just making a better Clark Sword. We probably should hold out for uh, that. We can make armor, right? Yes. No. Well, yes, but no. We need more stuff. 
Reload. Uh, you can use Jim to create action. Its probability is, indicates AR and grade. Confirm. Concentration. Use an action point to restore one combo point. So, wait, how much... Oh, we use those gold gems to make them. Upward sliced. Okay, and they're better actions. Interesting. So we can... So here's the thing. If we, we, you can use these to enhance our gear, then we can't make better gear, so... Wait, you said we got gloves, or we get glove fragments. As I lied to. Like, you guys saw that, right? I thought I said Maria Gloves female when I when I was doing that thing. Did we not keep that? Hmm. Feel a bit cheated on that. So we actually break down actions to get items and break Break the What we if we break down the stuff that we use to enhance? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's a beauty shop. Oh, we can buy. Hairstyles. Interesting. Okay. You know what? Let's do one more. Let's go uh let's go with her this time. On hard again. Because it wasn't that hard. Six, yes. Okay, so So feel reward that one. Feel reward Clark Swords. We should have an extra Clark Sword. Unless we, unless that's what we would get if we land there, but we're not getting because we didn't land it. All right. Is it? I mean, is that the case? Does it? Do we just not get the things when we don't land on them? In that case, I don't want the high numbers then. We'll find out because we should have extra Clark swords then, right? If that's the case. See Maria, let's female again. I mean, that's what it seems like. Maybe I'm misreading it. Like, it tells you, I think it says what the reward is, but not what you get. Oh, uh, uh let's learn about motion commands before the stage. Uh, okay. Uh, action using motion command is in S2. Auto loaded slice down action activates a special action by moving the controller up and down when an icon appears. I saw that, so I just gotta move up and control up and down. Oh wow, that's an impressive move. Oh wow, that actually is a really good move. The Master of Avoidance! Both hits and my problems! Gotcha! Stab in the butt! Vertical diving, vertical diving. And the memory of a rat man. The world is crumbling, but I should continue to follow the king. Maybe I should escape. Good to know. Not being judgmental at all. Okay, so yeah, it those are it shows you what you would get if you land on those squares. Hmm. Okay. I feel less cheated now. Still, a tiny bit cheated, but less. Okay. Let's make something. I can make a Clark sword. I can make a 
much better Clark sword. Lowest class sword for everyone. So do we have to like break down the other ones to get those? You know, let's craft the Clark sword. So we got a rare Clark sword, so. But she's using just a super normal. And the rare actually starts off better than hers. And critical damage up, okay. So let's go to him then and give him the super normal Clark sword. It's weaker because we haven't buffed it up. And then let's go to dismantle, dismantle the Clark sword. We have the lowest class amplification crystal. So we can go back to her, or back to here, and enhance the super normal Clark sword. The okay, I think I get it now. So this is interesting. Uh, they said challenges, right? Mouse cave. Uh... Oh, they actually have what you should have. Oh God, <laughs> the hell is? I mean, I know it's a Weaver, but like, ugh, <laughs> zombies. Oh, it gives a hint of what we're doing. Uh, Ganondorf's. Uh, orc skeletons, giant rats, and Saitamas. Okay, well, that's gonna be this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, honestly, I'm kind of into this. It's quick to pick up, easy to play. It's that it's like a Dynasty Warrior roguelike, uh, you know, hack and slash game. It's kind of and. And this was this was a this is obviously a, a more of a budget game. It was not that expensive. <laughs> I think it was like twelve bucks. So it kind of fits that sweet spot. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I do like it. This is on the PS4 if you couldn't tell from the controllers. But um, if you like it, it's on the PSN right now. You can pick it up. If you want me to do more, I can't imagine I'll be doing another one of these. I think it's gonna be a one-off just because I can't seem to be like something that people would want to watch the full playthrough on. But I am interested. And I do like it. But until next time. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.